Hi, I'm Luke Danger with Western Wisconsin Egg and Egg Partners. Um, just going over a little bit about what we've seen to date this year uh, in the cornfields. One thing to really note is we've seen a lot of corn rootworm activity, um, both below ground and above ground. And so we're just going to go over a few things with that. Um, this field is actually a seven year corn on corn field. It's smart stacks traded corn, so there's below ground protection to it. As you can see, as you look at um, the different nodes here and roots, uh, they did get bit off earlier in the year and they had to regen as the year went. So this whole field was like that. We're seeing incredible pressure out there this year with as dry as it's been. Um, that's reflected when we trap and, and we see we got sticky traps. Um, threshold on, on these is actually, you know, they're out for a week. Uh, so it's two or, or two beetles uh, per day. So about 14. You know, we're coming back. This trap has 94 westerns on it and uh, 55 northern corn rootworm beetles. And so the same field, um, trapped some, some second year corn stuff. We we're finding about a third amount of, the, of this pressure. Um, but it's still definitely out there. This just is an example of the, it didn't affect uh, pollination at all by eating silks, but the rootworms did come in after and, and they're out there right now. And they're eating these kernels down, creating an entry wound uh, into that plant, which, and as you can see, uh, we're actually got some mold development started already uh, this early in the season on, on those spots. And for next year as well, we want to be really mindful of uh, what our rotation is. You know, do we have traits? Do we need insecticide or do we flat out need to rotate out of that crop uh, in order to alleviate some pressure?